Okay, as I have seen, we are supposed to take uh, Java topic today in today's session. In the last classes, I have told you about the uh, inheritance concepts, overloading and overriding. Uh, sorry, overriding we have not yet taken. Today's class, I am going to take the overriding concept. Okay, before directly getting into the overriding concept, uh, we have to see from where the origin of the overriding is there. Right? Two uses of 
two uses of the method overriding concepts, right? Then coming to the rules, how we are the rules means I told that the the function name must be same as well as the function signature must be same. That means the number of arguments and type of arguments must be same for the set for the function, right? Let us directly get into the get into the program. How this set? Multiple uh, how this method overloading is uh, implemented, right? For this, I have told uh, the necessity is that uh, first there must be a class. This is the parent class, right? Have you understand? Right. The class name is bank. Bank is a class, uh, and I have taken an example of uh, interest rate of a bank. That means a uh, particular bank is there. It's a rate of interest. If anyone asks the uh, what is the rate of interest of the bank if you take any loan, then it must return with the some value. That is, here I am taking it as a zero. Why? Right? Because it is only a generic function. The, the actual implementation must be done in the chain class, right? Right. Then coming to the inheritance part, the class SBI extends the keyword in order to inherit a class, and bank is a parent class. You have seen the bank is a parent class. The here is an SBI, and we are inheriting this one. How it will be? A bank will be there, and first inheritance is the number. Yes, B I. Similarly, I am also inheriting an ICICI class. Okay, which is also from bank. ICICI class, which is from the bank. Then comes the third class, which is IC access card. Right? This is a real time example which I have taken. That means uh, the interest rate. Interest rate for all the bank will be there. Apart from this, specific the interest rate of each bank will be different. Now, for that we write this program. So specifically, SBI will have separate interest, and ICICI will have separate interest rate of interest, and ICICI will have separate rate of interest. But the function name will be same. That is nothing but the rate of interest. That is the function. Get the rate of interest. The function name. But whoever asks whichever bank, that particular bank will be written. Now, for that only we are using this program. And from the diagram, you will understand that. It is a multi multi level inertia, multi level inertia. Okay, multi level inertia is not the not the inertia. Inertia you know, when you single inertia is there, multi level inertia is there, multi level inertia hybrid is there. Multi level is not a yeah, applicable or implemented in Java. Okay, for that specific, specifically separate topic is there with the additional but interfaces with the help of interfaces we can achieve the multi level inertia. Okay. So coming to our topic, how to implement this one? Here, what are we done? From here, the second part of Java program starts. As we have heard, Java program consists of two parts. First one is the main function. The main function will be there inside a class. Okay, and the classes which are necessary is the second type. Here we are having one, two, three, four classes. Like that, any number of classes can be there in a Java program. And the second part is the main function, which will create the objects of those classes and use the number.